Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at Apex 2019 on the Scoop Studio, and I'm joined by Bill from Juki and Mitch from Kodiskan. Guys, thanks for joining me. Lots of hype at this show, and actually for the last year about CFX connectivity. It's kind of Kodiskan's area of expertise. They've been your partner for a long time, and I understand they're now helping you with the deployment of CFX throughout your portfolio. That's correct, right? So we look to Kodiskan to help us be that uh, connectivity, if you will, uh, for a lot of our interfaces. So we use them for our intelligent feeder system, and they've developed the Connect software that allows us to connect to the towers and also now the CFX. Yeah. Uh, so we're really happy to be partnered, continue our partnership with Kojiscan. Uh, over the years, it's been excellent. We've seen them grow from a number of let's say three or four guys up to a company that's almost as large as mine now. So congratulations. <laughs> We're working on that. <laughs> yeah, there's, cer there's certainly a few more of you over there now, Mitch. This relationship's been going going for a long while, and actually it's interesting when you look at it with, with respect to CFX, because your job is to kind of connect almost regardless of what standard comes along, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been doing connectivity uh, projects on our own as well as on behalf of our equipment partners uh, since day one and uh, CFX is the latest industry standard that's come out. Of course, uh, for our valued equipment partners like Juki, we want to be able to assist them and, 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 and basically enable them to be ready from day one. When that spec comes out, we want to be able to support them in ensuring they can provide CFX interface solutions to customers of theirs that require that. At the same time, we need to be mindful of the fact that their customer base includes a, a very wide variety customer types with different vintages and types of machines. Uh, in some cases, they might be in different industry sectors where there's other standards, like SexGem that comes to mind, for example. And so uh, we need to, in order to provide full value to Juki, we want to be able to ensure that we can support whatever their customers come at them with, yeah. and we can't dictate what their customers are going to ask them for. So we try to be as flexible as possible, try to have a consistent approach uh, to these connectivity projects, but at the same time support multiple protocols. Yeah, and that's really important to you, I guess, Bill, from a point of view of, you know, wh whatever your, wherever your customers come from, whatever standard it's, it's not like we can dictate how they, how they, how they communicate with their MES or their ERP or those things. Right. That's kind of that's kind of their remit, and it's our, it's our job to make sure all those machines are connected. That's correct, and that's their expertise is, is making that connection in yeah. various protocols. Uh, so we, we do look to them often, yeah. uh, especially in connecting our mounters to our storage solutions. And now, of course, CFX, uh, we want to upload all the machine parameters that we can and then take actionable data on that. So that's yeah. really the next step. I think you know we'll, we'll have this nice standard, uh, but what are you going to do with that actionable data? Yeah. So that's what we're going to start to work on as well. Yeah, it's developing strategies to as we said in previous conversations, to, to extract value from that and deliver that, deliver that value uh, further down the line. This relationship's <coughs> gone, gone for a long, long time. What do you think it is about, Kodiskan seem to be in this unique position of being able to create these really strong partnerships. What do you think it is about them that allows that to be so successful? Well, you know, honestly, they're just very easy to work with, very professional and thorough in their work. And when we have a problem, they're on it right away. Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, they jump on a plane and, and we'll fly just about anywhere on the globe to help us solve the problem. Because yeah. we're in this together, right? I mean, it still has a Juki brand name on the front of it. If it doesn't work, they still look to Juki, yeah. right? But if I don't have the experts to really solve it on site, we have to call them. And immediately, you know, their support line helps us. So I think that's really why they've been able to, let's say, snowball their partnerships with a bunch of companies, yeah. including Juki. Yeah. Uh, so I'm really proud to be a partner with Kojiskan. Yeah, and that's really interesting. It their their kind of success becomes part of your brand because they're, you know, they're out there fixing problems for you. That must be really important for you, Mitch, to be able to feel like you're kind of almost part of part of the Juki team when you when you're on a Juki site. It's very rewarding, and it's uh, wonderful to hear that type of feedback. Um, it's, it, it gives us, uh, it kind of cements the fact that, uh, uh, you know, we are, we've been focusing on these equipment partnerships for a long time, um, ultimately knowing that unless we provide value to these guys, uh, this partnership will fizzle out. And, uh, you know, we're extremely grateful to Juki because not only have they maintained a long partnership with us, but as the years have gone by, we've diversified and expanded the range of solutions we're providing for them. And, uh, you know, they've made us a better company. There's no doubt about that. And yeah. uh, we try to f 
we think and hope that we can continue to help them grow their business and help them sell more machines. Yeah, I mean, it's that mutual benefit. And we just spoke to um, Jose from uh, from Asegi as well. And it's, you know, you have a partnership with them that's been very successful. And actually bringing Kojiscan in that allows them to focus on what they're really good at and not worry about the connectivity. So I think it, you know, it just it just gels really nicely, doesn't it? It, it really does, yeah. And, and we're actually manufacturing the Aseji towers for the Asian market in Japan now mm -hmm. uh, and working with Kojiscan on that front as well. Yeah. Uh, so it's really a, like a, a three-member team now. Yeah. Uh, so definitely very proud of the relationship we've built up and I think we're ready to take on the next jump, if you will. Yeah. Uh, we've we've uh, maxed out our capacity and we're doubling production for next year. Wow. Yeah, so it's uh, we had a record year last year yeah. uh, with the storage towers and we continue to really, um, let's say, get orders that were unexpected. So yeah. uh, we see the market really gripping the automated warehouse. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. it's, I would say it's probably our most popular product in the booth yeah. during the show. Yeah, we certainly see we're certainly seeing that impact of materials management as being a, a key fundamental, and we talked about that earlier. You know, you don't want a line to stop because a component's in the wrong place. We work hard to reduce changeover time and everything else. Getting it stuck because you don't have the right reel in the right machine is right. is is not something you want. So, great to see a partnership like this working so well. Great to see more people coming into that fold. So, continued success, and thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much.